Hi, I'm Robin, the Sudoku guy, and guess what? Before I show you a puzzle, I want to cover some of the terms that I use. Here we have a Sudoku grid, and each little white square here, I call them cells. And there is, the puzzle is made up of rows that go here, horizontal rows, and it's made up of columns, vertical columns. There's also these big squares, which I call blocks. There's horizontal blocks, three of them. There's, these are horizontal blocks. And these are vertical blocks. And our first lesson, I'm going to be talking about these three blocks in terms of their rows. Now, the rows can be called TMB. T stands for the top row. M stands for the middle row and B stands for the bottom row, and the same applies to these three, and the same applies to these three blocks, horizontal blocks. So here we are, we're ready for our first lesson, horizontal blocks. So here we go with our first puzzle. Now let me tell you up front, this is a really, really easy puzzle. There's lots of numbers there, but I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step way of getting started. First of all, remember I talked about the horizontal, uh, these blocks. We, I'm going to call them horizontal blocks. Top, middle, bottom, top row, middle row, bottom row. And we're going to take the first step. And what I look for is a number that's in two of those blocks, but not in the third one. And we're going to go easily in a sequential manner. Numbers start with one and we'll work our way up to nine. Let's take number one. If, num if you're number one in this block is in the bottom row. So it's already there. Number two in this block, number one, sorry, in this block is in the middle row. And in the, this block here, the third block along, we call them horizontal blocks, there's a one there. So we don't have to worry about the ones. The ones are already in our three horizontal blocks. Let's go to two now. Two. In this block here, two is in the bottom again. And in this block here, two is in the middle of this block. And in this block here, two is already there. It's in the top. So we have a bottom, a middle, and a top. That was easy. We don't have to do anything about twos. Now let's go to threes. If we look carefully at these three horizontal blocks, you will notice that we have a three here in the top, in this block. We have a three here in this block, but it's at the bottom. Therefore, logic says that if there's a bottom here and a top there, the three has to be in one of those two cells. Now, what we can do, and this is where you use your little pencil, you put a little three. Now, some people will say you have different systems for where you put the little numbers in, but if, if the three could go in both of those. And now we come to the next step, and this is a very important step. As soon as you put those little threes in, you look down the column and see if there's a three there, because if there is a three in the column, then you can't have two threes in this column. That becomes a three because in this column we already have a three. So that cancels out this one. Therefore, we're left with that's the only place a three can go. And you only put a big number in when you know that that is the only place it can go. Now I'm going to teach you because of that something to watch for. And it's called finish off the block, or finish off the row, or finish off the column, if there's only one number left, one empty cell. And it just so happens that by putting that three in, in this block, we only have one empty cell left in that block. And in fact, if you look carefully, in this row, there's only one empty cell. And this is the way you find out what that number is. You count from one to nine. One, two, three, four, five. Where's five? 
six. There's no six in there. So we put that in, six there. But let's see if we can double check ourselves. There's always two ways of checking sometimes. One, go through along the whole row. One, two, three, four, five, six is missing. We got seven and eight and nine. So we put the six in. Now we've completed a block. Wee, weppo. And we completed a row. Now by doing that, we, have go, we got to three, didn't we? Now let's go to fours. Here we have a four in the top. Here we, we have four in this block and we have a four in this block, but we don't have a four in that block. So we can work out through logic where the four in this block will go. If it is in the top here and if it's in the middle here, it has to be in the bottom. So we put a little four here and a little four there. Now the next step, once you've done that, is to look down the column. Is there a four here? No, there isn't. Look down this column. We've discovered a four down here. That means that this cannot be a four. Therefore, we can make this little four into a big four. And because we did that, we now look carefully and you will notice that we can go on to fives. Let's look at the fives. Here we have a block, and the, and the bottom row of the block, there's a five. Here we have a block, and in the middle row of the block, there's a five. Therefore, but this block doesn't have a five. Therefore, by logic, the five must go there, because you gotta have, you can't have two numbers in one line, so this is, becomes a five. And you know that that is correct, because there's no fives down in here. You can double check yourself. Well, guess what? By doing that, we have now discovered that in this block, there's only one cell left. If you notice there's the one cell left, you've got to fill it in. If you don't see it, not the end of the world, don't worry. Okay, here we go. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Well, guess what? It's a six again. The six goes there. Now, have a look carefully. This is interesting. If you look at this row here, there's one missing. It just so happens that it, I think it's a six. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, Six is not in that row, so six has to go there. And you know that is correct because here's a middle, there's a bottom, and there's a top. In other words, you can't have these repeated in those three rows. Well, have you noticed that in this row and in this block, we've only got one left? Let's count out, find out what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine has to go there. There's nowhere else it can go. Now that block's got one to nine in it. Now that we've done that, we have completed, whoopee, blocks one, two, and three. Now, that doesn't always happen uh, at the beginning, but this is really easy. Now let's go to these three blocks. We'll start with one and work through to nine. Here's the one. Guess what? There's, no other, there's not a one here, and there's not a one there. Forget it. Don't worry about it. Go to number two. Now, I know some of you who are experienced, you can say, yes, you can find a one, but we'll come to that later. Here is two. So we have a bottom on this block. It's a top. Therefore, it has to be in the middle on this block. It's there. We've got it. We don't have to worry about them. Let's go to threes. Here's a three on the top on this one. Here's a three in this block in the middle. And here's a three. Whoops, not there. We have two threes. We can work out that this becomes your three because we must have a one of each of these. So it's a top and a middle and a bottom. Fours. Let's look at fours. This block has got a four. This block doesn't. This block does have a four. We have a middle and we have a top here. This middle block here has to have a four. And because it's, the top is taken and, bottom, and the middle is taken, it has to be this one. And we could have also worked that out by noticing that that was the only one left in this column. We can double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, let's go to fives. Fives in these three blocks. 
we have a 5 in this one in the top. We have a 5 in this one in the bottom. Therefore, the 5 must be one of these two in the middle. So we put a little 5 in. And now we look up the column or down the column because we've now got them above and below. And if you look up, do you notice that here we have a 5? That means that this can't be having a 5 because you cannot have a number repeated in a row, column or block. So therefore, this becomes the 5. Way to go. We've got the 5s done. Now what about the 6s? Well, if I look at this carefully, this... Whoops, I've just noticed something. Did you notice that this block has only got one cell left? Let's fill it in. And it's, well, guess what it is? We start with one and it's not there, so it's got to be a one. Way to go. Okay, now let's go back. We were doing sixes, weren't we? This block here has a six at the bottom. This block has a six in the middle row. This block has no six, but it has to be in the top. Bottom, middle, has to be in the top, so it becomes a six. Now we've only got one left in this row. Let's fill it in. What number will it be? Well, it just turns out to be a one. One, two, three, four, five. All the others are there, so that is a one. Now that we've done that, this block has only got one left. Let's count through to nine and see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is missing. Eight, nine. So we put the seven in. Now that we've done that, guess what? There's only one left in this block and, and one left in this row. So we can work that one out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing. Now we could have done it this way too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That way as well. Now we've solved another three horizontal blocks. Way to go. We're getting there. It's going to come close. We're getting there very quickly. Ones. Let's, we'll do ones, twos and to nine up in this, these three blocks now. Let's have a look at the ones. We have a one in the top here, a one in the bottom here of that block. This one doesn't have a one. It has to be in the middle. So it goes there. Take the twos. We have a two in the top here. We have a two in the bottom of this block. But we don't have a two in this one. And it cannot be there or there because you've already got a two in that row and it cannot really. So it has to be here. Part, top, middle, bottom. Okay, threes. Here's a three. There's a three. We have this block with a three in the middle. We have this block with a three at the bottom. Therefore, this block has to have a three up, the, up on the top of those three rows. Now, if I look up, is there a three? If you look up, is there a three along here? No, there isn't. Have I made a mistake? Yes. Guess what? There's only one space left. And guess what it is? It's a three. So therefore, that has to be three. That's one way of doing it. The other way of noticing it, that this has already got a three, so that can't be a three. So there's two ways of looking at that. Um, now, this row has only got a... One cell left. What did, let's count. One, two, three, four. Five is missing. So we put the five in. The column is completed. Way to go. Uh, let's, we'll do sixes now. Six, six, six. There's a top, a middle, and a bottom. The top, middle, and this one doesn't have a six. It has to be on the bottom. So there it is. Very good. I've just noticed something. I don't know if you've noticed this, but look. If you look here, see this column? There's only one left. Let's count up and find out what's left in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. Then this block and this I've only got one left, so let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is missing. That goes to seven there. Okay, now we were up to six. Well, let's do the sevens. There's a bottom, there's a middle, and a top. Done. Forget it. Okay. Eights. We have a top. We have a bottom. This is top. We have a bottom row in here in this block. This block doesn't have an eight, so we put a little eight in here and a little eight there. Now we look up to see if there's an eight somewhere. Is there an eight up in here? Oh, yes, there is. So that can't be an eight because you can't have two eights in a column, row, or block. So we'll put rub that one out, and this one becomes an 8. Now we're almost there. Guess what? 
Let's count up to see what this one is. We could do it two ways. We can count down the column or we can count in the block. Let's do the block. One, two, three, four. We're missing a five. Let's double check and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No numbers repeated. Yippee! We've completed our first very easy puzzle. So when we complete a puzzle, I like to give you a, have a good smile. Now next lesson we go a little further and we cover other things. Each lesson has a one step further and each lesson has some homework if you want to practice. So bye for now. Au revoir.